In this video, we're going to show you how to install spark plug wires on your Ford Mustang located under your hood. With your hood open, locate your ignition coil, and that is going to show you right where your ignition wires are located right here. We have a V6, so there are six ignition wires here. Now, instead of ripping all of these off together and swapping them out, you can cause an issue by mixing up wire placement and then causing a major misfire issue when you're reassembling everything and then you go for a road test. So simple process, remove one at a time, replace one at a time. So I wanna work on this front spark plug down below, the forward one. If you follow the wire up and it brings us to the back ignition wire here, go ahead and pull that off the coil just by pulling that straight out follow the wire down to the spark plug, twist it and pull. Sometimes it doesn't want to come off. That's where a set of these pliers come in handy. Grab that boot firmly and pull that off. You want to go ahead and grab your new set of wires. You want to match up the length on the wire, make sure it is pretty much the same length, and then install it the same way you removed it. I'm gonna take your new ignition wire, I'm gonna take a little bit of dielectric grease and put it a little bit on the inside of the boot here. Now, I'm not packing the boot, just wanna put a thin coating on there. Bring that on down, and when you push that in, you should feel it snap on to the spark plug. Once you feel it snap on, go ahead and route that wire back in its original direction here. Line it up onto the coil and press it on and you're gonna feel that snap into place as well. Here it is. Now we're gonna repeat this process with the other five. It doesn't matter what direction you go in. You can do the next one over, you can do the front one, it doesn't matter. And when installing these, you definitely want to feel that positive clip or snap onto that ignition or onto the spark plug itself when installing these. A poor connection can cause a misfire, drivability problems, poor gas mileage. And sometimes you just got to work at it to get it in there. Snapped in. Go ahead and feed that wire up. Now that completes the driver side bag. These three here run up and across the back of the intake manifold over to the other side. That contains a little bit more of a process we're gonna go over next. As these wires run across the back of the intake, there's gonna be a retainer here. I'm gonna use my pick and we wanna go ahead and open this up. and just separate the wires from the loom. And there's one more in the back over here. Do the same for that.
Now right on the back here, there is a wiring harness for a sensor. We're gonna go ahead and remove this connection. Pinch on that tab and separate that. It's gonna give it a little more freedom here to move those wires. Our next step is to loosen the two hose clamps on our intake tube here and remove this. Using a flathead screwdriver, go ahead and loosen this. You don't have to undo it all the way, just loosen that a bit. Now that we have our two hose clamps loose, right on the back of the intake tube, there's a little vacuum port. Wiggle that out, set that aside. Grab the intake tube and pull this off the throttle body. And then off of the air box itself, set that aside. Now we're gonna work from the front side first on the passenger side. It is the easiest one to reach. Just gonna go ahead and grab this boot and pull this off. Pull this up and start to feed it through. Follow it over to the coil end and disconnect it there. Repeat the same process for this, match it up to the length of the new ignition wire, and then install it. At the coil end, install the boot, push it until it's bottomed out all the way, and then route the wire, same way that the original was run. Be sure to have put your grease inside the boot, line up with the spark plug, and press it on. I'm gonna repeat that process for the other two. Now that we have all of those wires installed, let's go ahead and get these lined back up. Let's go ahead and get these routed back through our retainer here. Make sure that's pressed into the intake. Don't forget to install your harness here.
tighten down our hose clamps here. Don't forget the vacuum port. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.